sister wives. Janelle Brown had no idea Garrison was struggling before his death. Never expected this exclusive. He didn't ever express any kind of extreme sad feelings. In fact, he was very funny, very upbeat. He had a career path that he was excited about. Janelle tells people of her son, six months after his death by suicide. When Janelle Brown and Cody Brown's son Garrison died suddenly in March, she and the rest of the world were left in shock. Speaking exclusively with people, the Sister Wives star, 55, opens up about that devastating day and why she was blindsided by Garrison's heartbreaking death by suicide at 25. We just had no idea that he was in that place. Janelle, 55, tells people, adding that substance abuse likely played a role in his state of mind before his death. But he didn't ever express any kind of extreme sad feelings. In fact, he was very funny, very upbeat, she adds. He had a career path that he was excited about. He had a life, he had friends. On March 5th, Garrison was found dead in his home in Arizona. At the time, Lieutenant Charles M. Hernandez, two of the Flagstaff Police Department told people that officers responded to a report of a death inside a home and confirmed that Garrison's brother Gabriel, 22, had discovered Mr. Brown deceased. Officials later ruled his manner of death as a suicide. Janelle says she and her family members never had any idea that it would go this way, noting that there weren't any obvious warning signs and Garrison frequently spoke to family. Towards the end of his life, she says her son checked in with his loved ones, had adopted another cat, and felt really excited about his career prospects. We actually were having conversations. He had all the resources that he could have needed, she recalls. This was just such a shock. We just never expected this. I really actually had sort of thought like, okay, maybe he's finally starting to get his momentum, she adds. It's hard in your 20s to find your path. And I was really excited, so it was such a shock because there was just no indication at all. The Sister Wives star, who will return to TLC screens for season 19 on Sunday, September 15th, also believes a lot of young men his age suffer from mental health issues that never get addressed. We should be speaking more, especially about mental health for men, and that there's no shame in getting help and seeking help, she says. We just had no idea. This was such a shock to us. Now, Janelle and her family members do real check-ins whenever they connect. We're very real and we assess, she explains. Life situations come up and we're always like, okay, so what about mental health? We actually say the words and we wait to hear what's really happening, not just kind of gloss over it. I think we're definitely putting more stock in mental health in our family. Still, Janelle acknowledges there wasn't much more she could have done as a mother to prevent this tragedy. I don't know what we could have done different LY, she says. We were definitely, and I would encourage everybody to be that way, we were having real conversations with him. We were offering resources, we were always talking to him. We were loving him. All the things were there. It really just was something he could not, like the demon he couldn't get on top of the battle. He couldn't seem to get over. It just wasn't for lack of love or a lack of anything. And all I can do is think. We always ask ourselves, could we have done something more, but I don't know, she adds. I think that's a grief trap because I think, ultimately, everybody is responsible for their own actions and their own decisions. But we did everything. We really did everything that we could have done. And unfortunately, sometimes that still isn't enough. Shortly after news of Garrison's death in March, Janelle and Cody shared a joint statement addressing the news on their respective Instagram pages. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, Janelle wrote in the post. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Janelle has since paid tribute to her son on multiple occasions, including recently on what would have been Garrison's 26th birthday. We are missing you terribly today. It's hard to believe you aren't here anymore, she wrote in April. I still feel you nearby sometimes. And I'm grateful we will see each other again when my journey is completed. Garrison had been a part of TLC's Sister Wives since its debut in 2010. Now exes Janelle and Cody also share daughters Maddie, 28, and Savannah, 19, as well as sons Logan, 
29, Hunter, 27, and Gabe, 22. Janelle Brown heard her late mother's voice. But how? Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is a really emotional person, and her love knows no bounds. She gives her all in her relationship and tries her best to maintain them. However, there have been instances when some of her loved ones were snatched away from her and she had to face the sad demise of her mother and son. Amid all this, Janelle recently opened up about an emotional incident that recently took place. She explained how she heard her mother's whispers and evidently went back in time because of it. Is this true? What is this all about? How did Janelle hear her mother's voice? Janelle Brown heard a whisper from her mother. Janelle Brown's mother was part of the Sister Wives show during its early days. Her sad demise was also featured, and viewers saw the celeb shattering in pieces. Even after years have passed by, and Janelle has accepted the truth, she still hears her mother's voice. She recently took to Instagram and narrated how she was reminded of the matriarch because of something not so special. Janelle posted a picture of a denim shirt kept on a table as she was about to iron it. She revealed that it was finally cold enough for her to wear long sleeves, and she was ready to iron it when she heard her mother's voice. The celeb stated, I can still hear my mom's voice. Janelle further explained that the matriarch used to tell her to start with the small sections, collar, cuff, yoke, and then move progressively bigger. Janelle admitted that there are times when small things stay with people for the longest, as her mother passed away in 2022. She further added, I just want to say thanks mom for being you all those years ago. This makes it clear that Janelle has kept her mother alive in her heart, just like Garrison, and she often remembers both of them. Sister Wives Janelle Brown remembers Garrison after six months of passing. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown's death has left a void in Janelle's life. She wasn't able to believe her eyes when she learned that her beloved son was no more. The celeb was in shock and found it hard to move on from this tragic incident. However, Janelle decided to live for her other kids and began spending more time with them. She made sure that she made as many memories as possible with her sons and daughters. Robin misbehaved at Garrison's funeral? Michael T speaks up. The drama surrounding the Brown family from Sister Wives seems to be never-ending, as they have something or the other to but heads on. Yet all of them came under the same roof during Garrison's funeral. They wanted to pay tribute to their departed family member and mourn his death together. However, it appears Robin's behavior during this emotional moment didn't sit well with her audience. She perhaps did something nasty because Michael T had decided to maintain distance from her. The latter recently talked about what happened and left her audience in disbelief. Did Robin misbehave? What did she do? What happened at Garrison's funeral? Did Robin misbehave? Sister Wives star Michael T recently dropped a bombshell about Robin Brown's behavior during Garrison's funeral. She claimed that the latter did something at her brother's funeral that didn't really sit well with her. Hence, the star kid admitted that their ties have changed after something happened during Garrison's passing, though Michael T made it clear that she wouldn't be talking about it. Fans have their own theories to justify. The first prediction is that perhaps Robin insisted Cody sit with her. Apparently, the latter should have been with Janelle, as Garrison was their shared child. Moreover, Janelle surely needed her son's father at that emotional moment. But it is possible that Robin also wanted attention during a funeral, which Michael T didn't take well. But that's not all. Robin didn't even bring her kids. Though funerals are really hard to deal with, it doesn't mean that her children should have completely skipped paying tribute to their late brother. So, there is a fair chance that Michael T and others took this as a snub or, worse, disrespectful to Garrison's memory. She is someone who is still mourning the death of her brother, and she evidently couldn't be able to tolerate anyone's disrespect towards the departed soul. Robin didn't focus on Garrison's funeral? Was she in a hurry? Sister Wives viewers wonder what Robin Brown actually did to make Michael T draw boundaries. Some of them predicted that perhaps she may have wanted to leave early. There is a fair chance that the celeb was least bothered about the emotional moment and was pinning Cody to go back home as soon as possible. Robin further had a reason to return as she didn't bring her kids to the funeral on the other hand. It is possible that Robin didn't keep the family dynamics aside even during the funeral. She perhaps didn't treat Christine and Janelle well as she believes that they jeopardized their polygamous marriage by walking off. Hence, 
Robin might have kept the divorces supreme and perhaps didn't show enough empathy towards the mourning family. Whatever the reason, Michael T's feelings toward Robin have evidently shifted. She is no longer on the latter's team, and perhaps Robin did something that she couldn't overlook at any cost. Though Michael T isn't ready to share the details, her words spoke volumes and hinted at the new dynamics. Janelle Brown reveals hearing late mom's voice. Since Sister Wives premiered on television 14 years ago, fans have seen the family struggle through love and loss. Mary and Janelle Brown both lost their mothers during that time frame. Although it was a deeply personal loss, fans sincerely felt connected to the women and mourned along with them. But even so, the memories live on. Janelle Brown recently shared a tender moment with fans, revealing she can almost hear her mother's voice. Janelle Brown's mother lives on in her heart and mind. Losing a parent can be one of the most challenging things a person will go through in their lifetime. Although Janelle Brown loves and misses her mother dearly, she has plenty of fond memories to keep her going. Ironing a shirt today because it's finally kind of cool enough for long sleeves faced with tears of joy, and I can still hear my mom's voice telling me to start with the small sections, collar, cuff, yoke, and then move progressively bigger. Janelle Brown shared with her Instagram followers. It's interesting how some of the littlest things stay with you the longest. Even though she passed away in 2020, I just want to say, thanks mom, for being you, all those years ago. Many of Janelle's followers appreciated the post and shared their own fond memories of their mothers. Comments included, my mom did the same small first and then the body she's been gone 30 years, but I still remember the things she taught me red heart. That's how my mom taught me to, red heart. I was just ironing shirts yesterday and replaying in my mind all the hints my mom gave me. So very precious to have memories of the little things red heart. The same here. My mom taught me exactly the same about 50 years ago. Hongxin. The TLC star keeps her loved one's memories alive. Janelle's mother isn't the only person she sorely misses these days. Recently, the Brown family reached the six-month milestone after Garrison Brown's death. It was an emotionally difficult day, but Janelle did her best to honor his memory and share kind words about her son point six months ago today you went away. You come up in my photo memories almost every day, the TLC star wrote on Instagram. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you're gone. And then I remember I won't be getting a call or a text from you, and it all comes rushing back. I know you fought hard, but in the end you just couldn't stay. I love you so much, and we'll see you again when my journey is done. What do you think about Janelle Brown's post about memories with her mother? Have you been keeping up with her sweet Instagram tributes to her late loved ones? Leave your own thoughts in the comments.